In this lesson, we're gonna look at the science behind the different positions that you actually can adopt when you're lap dancing somebody on a chair. There is actually quite a science between the different types of body heights and positions and the different moves that you can do in each position. Now, each different position that you do when lap dancing on a chair, there are certain moves that better suit that position. And I think it's about time that all you guys out there actually knew what they were. So let me go through the different positions that we can use when lap dancing. I don't have my assistant with me today, so you're gonna have to pretend that there's somebody on the chair. I'm sorry about that, but here we go, okay? So, first of all, we have a standing position, okay? You're standing there. Then we have straddle position. Straddle is when we, 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 we're not quite sitting completely on them, but we're like hovering, you know? We're, we've got our knees bent and we're, we're taking most of our body weight with our knees, but it's like we're sitting on them, okay? So you've got standing and then you've got straddle. Really important that you know the difference between those two because I seriously see some guys only doing this and they never do this. And then I see some guys only do this and then they never do that. It's really important that you can, you can show the difference between the two because it makes it look more interesting and more interactive, okay? And next position that you can have is a kneeling down in front position. There's so many different things you can do from here. And we also have standing behind as well. It's a really nice position that you can do a lot of cool things from, which I'm gonna show you soon. Now, in addition to that, from standing, we also have reverse standing. And we also have reverse straddle as well. Whew. So, there's some different moves there, different positions that guys just are not even using. They're not even thinking about, okay? So, let me show you what you can do right now in each position. But most importantly, the reverse straddle position is so good for, um, for, for a combo that I personally love using. And I'm gonna show you guys what that combo is right now. So, what you do is, you're in reverse straddle. You grab, grab her arms, okay? So, these are her arms, yeah? So just pretend these are, pretend these are not my hands and these are your, you know, the hands that you're grabbing of the, the woman that you're dancing for place them in the inner thighs right here, okay? From here, we wanna extend our legs, slide her hands up your thighs until you're standing. Then, drop your body weight low and continue up your torso, up your torso, up your torso till you're at your chest. Then reverse the movement and then go back to the start. Stand back up again to the hips and squat low back down your thighs. That's it. That's the combo. It can be actually a little confusing, so just practice it a few times, but it's so simple, but it's so effective. You know why? Because instead of just standing here and just guiding her hands like this, it can make so much difference just to add a bit of body movement to it. So when you do this, it becomes more interesting. You can even add like some body rolls or hip grinds when you do it. So let me show you like the combo with a hip grind in there. So you go hip grind, hip grinding. You know what I mean? So much more interesting with body rolls. So I know it looks like I'm just touching myself right now. But like I said before, my hands are the woman's hands. And what you'll be doing is like, you'll be essentially be doing this. You'll be guiding her hands down your body like that. So you'll be grabbing her wrists like this. Lightly, lightly, not forcibly. Two fingers, okay? Easy to break out if she doesn't feel comfortable with the situation. We're not forcing anybody to do anything. I wanna make that real clear. So light grabs, okay? Lightly guiding. 
That's an awesome combo. Let me show you some more stuff. Okay, so from kneeling position, all right? From kneeling position here, we can grab our arms and then we can guide it over our body, yeah? We can even lean back as we guide them down nice and low near our pelvis and then we can sit back up as we guide her hands over our body. It's pretty simple and pretty obvious, but we can also, from this position, grab the side of her chair and pop up into a bridge position. Now from here, you can Okay, all right. Blah, blah.